Well, what a delightful place to spend the night. Actually, that side would have been okay, but apparently donated by the EU, according to a little sign there. That's very nice of them. Trouble is, they never put you any escape. So once you're over that side, you're stuffed. You can't go anywhere. So if somebody's uh, dying of a heart attack or something or another, then uh, nobody can get to you. Good old EU, hey? Still, oh, we had the uh, wondrous graffiti on our side of the road. And, uh, well, plenty of wildlife still. Uh, and noises and whatever. Chubb and Son. And Safe Company. Now then, talking about ridiculous wildlife. And I love wildlife. I love to see all the babies. What about this for a place to build a nest? Have you ever seen anything like it in your life? Now, sooner or later, two boats are going to come together at this point. And this moran has decided to build a nest right in the middle of the canal. And I can see that getting flattened, quite frankly. Now, we're in an electric boat and probably going past it in stealth. Uh, there you go. She's on that uh, little nest that's floating around in the water. She's making use of uh, recycling materials there. <laughs> uh, I don't hold up much hope for your uh, for your chicks there or your eggs. Right. Well, this is the Wolverhampton Tunnel. <coughs> I'm not really going to do much video here because there isn't much to see. Suffice to say that we came up the locks yesterday unscathed with a gaggle of uh, CRTs helping us, much to Sue's uh, delight. And uh, that's behind us now. Gas Street Basin is our next port of call through the Tipton Locks. We come from a place near Tipton, but it's not the same one. Three Tipton lots. All oh, right, Sue's. There's a bit of a row going on here over boyfriends and get get out of it, get out of it. Leave my girlfriend alone. It's mine. Look, I'm big and strong. You just get out of it. Go on, hop it. Leave her alone. That's my bitch, and I'm going to have that one. I'm coming back again. Says the other one. And so the argument goes on all day. And most of Sue's amusement at the front laughing away. There we go. Sorry, dear? Yeah, get off my bitch. Right, the Wolverhampton Tunnel. One thing about it, it's big. Wouldn't have worries about meeting another boat in here. Right, so we're going to slide out of Wolverhampton and into the middle of Birmingham. Cut. Well, we're still floating through. Outskirts of Wolverhampton and and there's so much life in amongst all this plastic graffiti. bottles and graffiti. Well, the graffiti doesn't. Where's the little baby one's gone? Uh, they've shot off. Sue's been trying to run them down, but I oh, there they are in the in the bush. There you go. Some more squawking Canadian geese coming to your area soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, there was one back there that uh, inspired me to take some pictures. 
They're just hatched. Those were the coots, weren't they? I believe they were. They've just been born. I'm not a very good uh, orny swastika or whatever it is. Pathologist. Yeah, so this is definitely an urban area. But, um, I've just been through an industrial estate, which looked delightful. There's still bits of industrial bits on this side. They look a bit. All the containers like that. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. They don't actually No, no, no. Oh, that's right. They could be just collected them to. Yeah. But we've seen fridges chucked up the side as a. Uh, we actually saw our first cho shopping trolley this trip asbestos. in the canal. Asbestos. All manner of things. Delightful. It's a piece of polystyrene, been there for some time because it's starting to degrade. Not very nice, but in amongst it all, yeah. in amongst it all, life is existing. It's quite amazing. Um, little chicks and whatever. This is a pretty good area, actually, what we just floated through back there. But we wanted to take the chicks. Sue wanted me to take the chicks. It's very quiet and peaceful. Yeah, it's, it's our earliest uh, start, I think. Well, it's not even at yeah, we're five to eight. Hour, yeah. We're gonna, have, we're gonna have coffee and toast. Coffee and toast. Mm. Bad porridge already. Morning. Oh. Yeah. I did not actually understand what he said to you. Might have been nice, might not have been. Yeah, all right, well, that's another three minutes of your life you won't get back. I've got to be honest that um, I do like the countryside better. <laughs> this is... Uh, Interesting, but I wouldn't want to be doing this on a regular basis. Um, the countryside with its dramatic fields and whatever. Then you've got to do it all to appreciate it. You've got to see it all to appreciate the countryside. That's why I wanted to call the boat yesterday.